class from the statistics okay, so today um, we are dealing with the test of significance I'm not going very detail about each test but uh, test where to apply a particular test and on what conditions what scenario so this is one of the most um, scariest question we ever faced wow. during our post graduation because we might not be knowing uh, many tests uh, and its applications we hardly know t-test and ANOVA and chi-square so when to apply and what conditions it is to be applied it is a trickiest part of this statistical testing okay so before that um, i would like to suggest that uh, please watch my videos on normal curve and types of variables before seeing this one uh, so if you have a clear idea about normal curve and uh, types of variable uh, it is very easy to uh, get the idea of types of testing otherwise it might be uh, a roadblock for you to understand what i'm talking now so i really suggest you to watch those two videos normal curve and types of variables okay so basically this is hardly a four slides uh, after four slides we will be knowing everything and almost all the tests which are basically required for our uh, testing in our clinical studies and thesis making so we know by statistics it's uh, statistics on the living organisms or human beings so basically we do testing to uh, create or test hypothesis so the descriptive part of uh, biostatistics is to create a hypothesis for uh, we get uh, we collected uh, data of um, some people or a hundred people so first what we do we do the descriptive analytics or descriptive statistics not analytics uh, statistics okay that is to create hypothesis so first uh, in any article we can see that the first two three tables are of descriptive nature that is the uh, uh, variables will be put into mean, uh, standard deviation, median, IQR, and various frequency. The questionnaire, various frequency of responses will be put. And there will be some two, three tables which are completely uh, for this descriptive part. Then you can see the inferential part. That is uh, testing of the hypothesis. So there you can see many tests, uh, correlation or regression analysis. Uh, testing means you can see t test uh, ANOVA test or Wilcoxon sign rank test so many tests so any article or any part of research the first part is descriptive part and second is the inferential part inferential part is nothing but we are trying to bring out an inference from our data so descriptive part will be done by mean median and uh, standard deviation IQ frequency most commonly an inferential test usually parametric or non-parametric test or correlation and regression analysis so before that we need to know what is normality normality i'm not explaining here because i already covered a big session on normality in my previous uh, videos so please uh, please do check the normality video so usually we can uh, manually check the ma normality of a particular data so suppose we get a data we need to check whether it is normally distributed so depending upon normality the test which we are going to apply will be changed so we can do manually but nowadays it's a era of software so we can use softwares to test whether our data is following normally uh, normality or not so commonly used tests are shapiro wilkins test smirnov kolmogorov test and anderson darling test so you just remember this name because you might have come across these tests before uh, in all articles one of the test will be in all articles where the statistical description has given the normality of the data was tested by Shapiro Wilkins test or Smirnov Kolmogorov test so one sentence you might have seen so this is just to check whether it is normally distributed or not so it is all done by software you have manual application uh, of normality testing by taking mean and standard deviation and checking the three standard deviation and to know that whether it is following 99.7 percentage of total observation but it might take uh, a lot of time or it is very laborious uh, when the data is very and the data is very huge so commonly we do uh, statisticians will do 
uh, one of these tests many tests are there i just put three uh, so this is normality so once we check normality uh, we get to know that whether it is whether our data is normally distributed or not so if it is normally distributed we have to follow parametric test if it is not normally distributed you have to follow non-parametric test okay so for that you need to know what is continuous data and what is categorical data so this is all done on continuous data just like height weight blood pressure saliva flow buffering capacity all most of the variables are continuous data uh, categorical data is mostly the questionnaire questionnaire response the percentage of response the like our scale types are, will come to categorical types as categories the eye color of uh, eye color the blue uh, the blue brown uh, red the categories or the gender male female the percentage of uh, males and females in a classroom and people uh, with no diabetes and without diabetes that proportion or categories come it becomes categorical but normal variables are continuous like height weight age blood pressure so such variables are continuous data so most of the data will be continuous but questionnaire response will be categorical data so if it is following normality what we have to do is you have to follow parametric test parameter means mean median commonly used parameters mean median if it is uh, following a particular parameter you can call it as a parametric test the commonly used parameters are mean mean and standard deviation okay sorry we not median mean and standard deviation median will become coming into non parametric test so the first test is z test okay so suppose the sample is less than or sorry the more than 30 our sample is more than 30 and we are checking or we are comparing a sample with population then we use set test set test is very rarely used usually we compare two different samples in a study we hardly compare sample with population if we compare sample with population we use set test it is a parametric test if the data is following normality first you have to think about set test if it is more than 30 sample and you are comparing your sample with a population okay if it is not uh, comparing with population instead you are comparing two groups or before after comparison you have to follow t test that is a most commonly seen so paired is if after. so if it is two groups there is no population here just two sample groups you have to follow paired or independent or unpaired so this is also known as unpaired test unpaired test student data stocks statistics okay so Mm, if it is just two groups without any uh, population involvement anyway we are comparing the uh, groups let it be two or three it, uh, population scenario comes very hard so we use two groups that is t-test so paired means before after comparison the same group you are applying one uh, particular mouthwash and before you are checking the black indices and after you are checking plaque indices or before you give one particular uh, drug for blood pressure before you take the bp and after you take bp that comes pay t test that is before after comparison since it is only one group but they are taken at two point of time before after comparison okay so you can count it as two separate groups even though the group remains same but before and after observation but if you have two different groups group a and group b you are giving one drug to group a one drug to group b and you are checking the difference between them you can use t test but should be independent or unpaired or student t test okay so that is all about t test i'm not going into the uh, into very much into the uh, testing i just want to know on what condition on what scenario each test is being used so if you have two groups you can use t test and it should be parametric and it should follow normality okay 
to have a parameter to measure that is mean and standard deviation that is a most common so ANOVA most commonly used if the study involves more than two groups so if two groups means you can use t-test more than two groups there should be ANOVA so there are many types of if you have more than two groups we need to do ANOVA that is analysis of variance so if you have a one variable uh, that is just checking uh, effect of um, black index or uh, effect of um, or effect on black index or effect on general index or effect of one particular trick among three or four groups we have to uh, use one way or another but if you are checking effect of two drugs okay, and drugs uh, may be interactive then you have to check two way ANOVA that is two variables are there and you have to uh, make sure that the interaction factor also should be reported you just cannot do one way ANOVA if the factors involved in the study are supposed to be interactive okay so there there can be interaction within the person so if interaction is there you have to follow two way ANOVA two variables and if you have more than two variables you have to follow MANOVA testing that is uh, many variables of ANOVA and all these will be uh, categorical variables and if you have a continuous variable and a categorical variable when it involves a continuous and both cat continuous and categorical variable you have to use analysis of covariance that is ANCOVA you just uh, remember the names okay so when you understand the variables uh, and <laughs> variables um, better you get an idea of uh, two way ANOVA, MANOVA and ANCOVA so what if the data set is not following normality you have to go for non-parametric test that is there is no parameter to measure so the, there is no uh, corresponding test for Z test but the T test there is one test known as Wilcoxon sign rank test that is if you have a before after comparison before after comparison you have to use Wilcoxon sign rank test it will not check mean and standard deviation it will be rank the observations and then do the test that is uh, corresponding to the before after comparison this pay t test okay if it is uh, two different groups not before after comparison then you have to use the man with me test that is corresponding to the independent t test if you have two different groups you have to follow man with new test then this non-parametric test there is no parameter usually we take median which is not a good measure of central tendency here we take mean and standard deviation here commonly we take median and IQR so if it is a paired observation before after we take Wilcox and sign rank test if it is two different groups we take man Whitney and if it is ANOVA there is more than two groups we take Kruskal Wallis test so always this parametric test is uh, good but sometimes we may not uh, be able to do a parametric test since it is not since your data set is not following normality you might go for a non-parametric test there is no much uh, varieties in non-parametric test so Wilcoxon sign rank test man between new test these are paired t test correspondence and man between it is comparable to independent t test and ANOVA comparable to Kruskal Wallis test so here we are checking the difference between two groups whether the difference you see is uh, due to uh, random chance or a real uh, occurrence so that is what the statistical testing is done is that's why we are doing statistical testing we need to find out the difference what we are seeing whether it is actually happened or it is just by a chance okay so what uh, if we are not doing any uh, group comparison we are just correlating with each other that is every person in group one will be uh, compared to every person in the group two so 100 people will be compared to 100 people person by person and we find out correlation if the data is following normality we have to follow the Pearson correlation test okay if it is not following normality we have to follow Spearman rank correlation here the data 
is normally distributed here it is not normally distributed so you need to know what is correlation before that so i am just mentioning about the names in this class not much detail about the uh, testing i just want you to know on what condition which test is to be used so pearson correlation is a parametric test which is done for finding out correlation and spearman rank is non-parametric test again it is also for correlation always parametric side will be having better quality so correlation is not just to find out any significant difference it is how much correlated if height is going uh, way, height and weight if height goes and weight increases you can say it is positively correlated and if a uh, patient uh, is weight is low and bp is high very rare chance but still if something is going in opposite direction if patient is eating too much and uh, reducing his mark or if spending too much time on mobile and reducing mark you can say it is negatively correlated so correlation will be minus one to plus one if one unit happens one unit change in the dependent variable is same change happens in the independent variable or the vice versa one unit change in independent variable will cause one unit change in dependent variable you can say that it's perfectly correlated if it goes the opposite way one unit change causes negative one unit change in the dependent variable you can say it is negative correlated so that's all about correlation so i just wanted to know the test name of correlation pearson correlation test and spearman rank correlation test so that is all about normality now next we go to the categorical data we were seeing continuous data categorical data commonly used as chi chi square test this we cannot put into parametric or non-parametric or you can put into both so it is commonly seen it is known as both the test or neither the test so is in matter chi square test always we use for question in this each question the responses will be in percentage or fractions or proportions we use chi square test because it is into categories of like a scale options so in such cases we use chi square test the parametric or non parametric test we use commonly uh, you know, based on normality we use mean standard deviation median or iq and here the category is the uh, response percentage for likert scale five responses each response 20 30 40 20 in that percentage and many questions in such cases we use chi square test so feature exact test chi square test always done 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 5 by by contingency table in any of the cell if the observation if the percentage if the number is less than five you have to follow the fisher exact test that is low sample size or less than five cell cell count is there you have to use fisher's exact test which is a type of chi square test and the next one is mcnema test you have a paid data that is case control study uh, before after comparison of uh, proportion or frequency you have to use mcnema test okay so these are the two types of chi square test one is feature exact test when the sample size is very low or the contingency table any of the cell is having less than five number or the mcnema test which is a paired data if the data is paid just like our paired uh, observation in case control study or somewhere or uh, study you can use this mcnema test to check the uh, association usually so the testing is very different each test has to be dealt in very detail but i just want you to know the names of it okay so fisher exact test and mcnema test and the last one of any statistical testing is a model prediction that is if you have a dependent variable and you have many independent variables you need to know how much change each independent variable is bringing out to the dependent variable so that is equation prediction equation model prediction so now we had seen just the difference between two groups or correlation how each group is correlated each other now you have to know that a dependent variable dental anxiety how much it is being predicted by age gender education occupation family income and previous carry previous dental visit so all these independent variable how it is contributing how much attribute it has for the dependent variable so prediction equation or model equation will be done by regression analysis if the data is continuous so the regression model will be linear regression so finally there will be a r square that will be the outcome of this regression model 
so i'll be dealing all this in detail about each test but now just remember the name and when this linear and when this logistic regression is being used linear regression is always used in continuous data okay continuous height weight uh, height weight uh, bp uh, and uh, blood pressure such things okay logistic regression it should be categories like gender male female we can convert any variable into categorical and continuous data if suppose if socioeconomic status we have we have five categories that is low socioeconomic middle upper upper middle so it becomes um, categorical data with the same data we just apply the amount uh, socioeconomic data that is we just put the number and we go to kupusami scale and we just use the number 0 to 35 we get a number and we just use a number it become continuous data so either way we, either way we can use so logistic regression or linear regression uh, in logistic regression we will be always seeing uh, odds ratio here it will be mm, regression coefficient of regression and r square okay so logistic regression it will be compared to one group other group this much risk or productive effect this will be r square value so each independent variable will give one r square value that is out of 100 this much percentage is the effect of that particular variable in the dependent variable okay you just uh, see the names of it i will be explaining in detail what all these things so continuous data we use uh, linear regression and categorical data logistic regression so before watching this i humbly suggest you to watch mm, normal curve and uh, the types of variables so you will get a better idea after this you will have a faint idea of what has to be done on what condition then once you go through uh, many many articles you will get a very clear idea okay so that's all about uh, testing so i was in, not into detail about testing i was just mentioning the names of it okay so this is all the test t test ANOVA, correlation psm Wilcoxon sign rank test, man with new test, Kruskal Valley's PM and rank correlation, visual exact test, McNema test, linear regression model and logistic regression model. The first one checking normality, Shapiro Wilkins test and Smirnov Kolmogorov test and Anderson Darling test. Okay, welcome with a new class.